Good morning, saints of God in beautiful Florida, USA, or what's left of it. I just wanted to bring you a, a word to pray about. It's about nanoparticles and chemtrails. I will be adding... Uh, I recorded me and my wife praying. I'm going to add that audio a little bit later in this video. But um, most of us know that there is a thing called chemtrails and a thing called nanobots. And as my wife and I were praying, the Holy Spirit was showing us how these particles are activated by magnetic fields like electronic devices and specifically and especially the television. And that it's helping to program the people. So I know most of you pay quite a bit of money to be able to have cable and I just want to urge you saints of God that it's time to stop watching the programming. Stop watching the tell a lie vision. So take this to the Lord in prayer and uh, also concerning the chemtrails and the nanobots that there are ways to get rid of them um, I have found diatomaceous earth, a food grade diatomaceous earth is uh, also ionically or magnetically charged and that this will help rid our bodies of these nanoparticles or nanobots. And as we were praying, the Holy Spirit showed us that also that in the the pharmaceuticals that most Americans take that there's heavy metals in these drugs that we're taking so my thought was you know are we going to put our faith in man and their pharmaceuticals or are we going to trust in God and the natural things that he put on this earth to heal our bodies. We all want to fix quick, a uh, quick fix. So I just encourage you saints of God to pray into these things and get revelation from heaven. The Word of God says that God is a spirit, and he must be worshipped in spirit and in truth. So I pray that you would ponder what this means. So I've been praying about how to define what these things mean. And the Lord showed me that our logic or our reasoning comes from our soul. But that when we get in the spirit, our minds go to the creative side. The word of God says that our spirit is one with his spirit. That when we're born again of the water and the spirit, that now we can actually commune with God. We can commune with his Holy Spirit. Says the Holy Spirit only speaks what the Father is saying. So I urge you all to get out of logical reasoning that comes from your soul and to seek God to pray in the Spirit. For David said, I entered into his courts with praise and into his gates with thanksgiving. 
This praise and thanksgiving to the Most High will get your mind out of the reasoning, logical side and into the creative side. And revelation will start to flow. So I just thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're bringing plumb line truth to your saints. And I urge you all to pray about this. It's very serious. These, he also showed us that these particles are... Um, Oh, there it just happened. It's making it hard for us to concentrate and stay focused, especially when it comes to the things of God. I'm hearing many people say that it's hard to stay in the Spirit and hear from the Holy Spirit. And I really believe these different things are... Uh, being put in our food and our water to calcify the parts of our brain that communes with God. There are many natural things that can help us, but the most important is putting off the ingestion of these things. The, the, floor, the water with fluoride in it and Chlorine is a, a toxin. Think about chlorine gas. So, uh, I just bless you all, saints of God. And I look forward to your comments. Any other insight that we can bring to the body of Christ to be able to free ourselves from the plots, plans, and schemes of the enemy. I'd really appreciate that, so... Leave your comments and your thoughts. So in the name of Jesus, I just bless each and every one of you.